Least terns are small, noisy birds with very specific nesting habits. They want to lay their eggs on small, sandy, or gravelly islands with little or no vegetation. They will make a, a small scrape in the sand and lay their eggs directly into it. How many eggs? Typically it's two to three. They don't like the, a lot of stuff around that, that uh, predators can sit on or hide on, like trees or whatever, so the, they like islands out in the, the river that's surrounded by water where there won't be any predators getting to the island. When the Army Corps of Engineers reworked the Arkansas River to make it deeper for barge traffic, many least turn nesting islands disappeared. This is the navigation system we're on right now. It's all deep water now. It's not uh, fluctuating river range like it used to be. So their habitat is diminished. So the Corps is working with Fish and Wildlife Service to build and create new habitat for them. Biologists with the Corps and the Fish and Wildlife Service let us ride along to one of the newest islands constructed to encourage least turn nesting. They're going out to it to count the number of nests, eggs, and hatched out chicks to keep tabs on this endangered species numbers. Biologists say no records were kept on least turn populations prior to the creation of the navigation system. But surveys in recent years show the birds appear to be very slowly increasing in number. We can put these two here and you can carry that one down there at the end. To give the birds a better chance at raising their young, warning signs tell people to stay off the islands. Chicks and eggs blend into the landscape so well, people can easily step on them because they didn't notice them until it's too late. Because least terns are an endangered species, disturbing nests or killing the birds, even accidentally, is a federal offense. Fines range up to $100,000. And uh, there's possibility of prison time also, so yeah, you could have both if you're severely negligent in what you're doing. There's a reason these signs are being pounded in so close to the ground. They don't want to create a place where predators can perch, then pick off the chicks. Even without human interference or predators, some eggs are lost. Heavy rains this month delayed nesting by some birds and destroyed several other nests. A splash of water washed these eggs out of a nest, then the parents abandoned them. Biologists say when a nest is lost, least terns frequently try again. But if the second try chicks aren't fledged by mid to late August, they won't be ready to migrate when the rest of the flock heads south for the winter. On the Arkansas River, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.